Right, hello, it's the £1 Gamer again today, and uh, today is quite a um, sort of a follow on from my Frostmaster uh, Israel Pro X controller um, debacle uh, from eBay. So, um, <coughs> on top, you can see there's some uh, Xbox boxes, and uh, so if I go right to the beginning of uh, two videos, maybe. Um, yeah, two videos. Um, you would know I got this Frostmaster ESOP X Pro Controller for £50 from eBay. Um, and it didn't work. Um, I ended up getting £46. Um, just over £46. I'm just trying to sort this out. Back a parcel refund. And uh, I didn't have to send it back. Um, and uh, there was a bit of a to and fro with me and the seller. The seller got a bit um, personal and um, well, not not very nice really. And uh, because I wouldn't send it back, even though he said no returns accepted, and eBay said no returns needed, um, so I kept it. So I got it for about uh, six pounds, all in all, a broken controller, which he knew was broken. So. Um, quick recap. Right, this is how it came. This is not the box because I had to get a um, uh, cable, a proper cable. So, got it like this. Nothing else. Like this. No rattles, anything like that. Uh, plugged it in to my Xbox Series X and um, no power. So, used multiple ca cables, no power. So, um, I bought this cable. Frostmaster uh, cable, um, nearly thirty pounds, and uh, still didn't work. There was no cable, so now I then bought um, two more eSwap X Pro controllers for thirty pounds. Um, so that was thirty pounds from the forty-six pounds or forty-four pounds that I got back from um, the seller. So. And I've already tested these, I've already used one of them. Right, so this is how it came. No um, no packaging or anything, just like this. So, right, the first one is just a normal one. And the second one is the Forza Horizon 5 version, um, limited edition one. So, this one, the uh, stop does not work as you can see. Right. So that's the only problem with that, that one does work. So that's perfectly fine, I really want it for this one. So, plugged them both in, lights came up. Whereas this one, no, that was how this is the one, no lights came up at all. So, immediately knew this was soul broken. So, the air power issue is there. Right. Um, and I thought I'll try the sticks and tried both sticks in both of these so swapped them around like this and then like that and then vice versa both sticks are bad really bad it constantly thinks that you're pushing up or doing something without touching them and it makes the controls go funny but the d-pad works perfectly fine. So, I've got three workable D-pads, two workable controllers. So, I had to get two new sticks. And, I went on Amazon, found the cheapest ones I could find, and uh, these are the uh, red ones. So, these are quite nice. Um, so I put these in there like that. Um, I swapped that, but then I looked at the number one here. This is, there is my tool. Right, and I also bought a tool to uh, get this out. So, if you look at these numbers. Right, this is a uh, D4XFH5022. Right, and then, 
can get this out. D4XRC 4423. So this is before that one, so I'll get that one in. Um, but it is quite nice on there. And uh, it's, whoops. It is quite nice on there. Um, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, it's not too bad. It's kind of a burnt orange, I'd say. So all sounds good. Um, I also, where did that go? <clears throat> also, I only came with one um, grip. So this isn't very grippy actually, but I can nick another one off there, but I will put those on. So, two working controllers technically. I could technically put four, uh, three D-pads in there and get it working and not use it for shooters instead of, I can use it for the racers. Um, or just take the other one apart and replace it. Um, perfectly fine controllers and um, very comfortable for me. Um, so, this one works apart from trigger stop. This one works completely and the other one doesn't work at all. But I do get two extra thumbsticks from the broken one, um, two extra grips and uh, an extra D-pad. And then I bought the um, Forza Horizon steering wheel adapter for it. Now, come on. Oh, damn. Oh, it doesn't matter. So, also got this from Amazon when I bought this kit. And all you get is the steering wheel adapter. So, I don't know if you could hear me then because I went a bit quiet. Um, now, I haven't tried it in Wars of Wars 5 or any other racing game. I just plugged it in to see if it works. And uh, that isn't centre, but it does go left to right on the menus. Um, it's quite easy to do. So, like that, or like that, but you can actually just do it like that. Easy, and uh, it's a lot better than that. But I think what I would do is swap that around so I can still have navigation and uh, yeah although that, that might be upside down but I can still do that and um, yeah but that's how I'm going to do it but I'm not going to keep that on um, so that goes back on there and uh, the other thing that I got from eBay is um, something from a really close friend so um, I've been unable to um, buy anything for the past six months because I've had no money at all and um, I'm unable to work so my benefits finally got reinstated and I got a big back pay um, or, and uh, as you know buy all my games for one pound or this so I thought you know what I've got all this money and um, I thought let's buy a game second hand game more than a pound and um, I thought I'd rather give the money to a good, a good friend and uh, so I did now this is how it came obviously not broken like this so now the reason i've um i've been able to upload is because we've had to do a full house 100 percent um rewiring so we had no uh power going through any sockets so we we're unable to upload so it's a few weeks late and there's just been sorted so what i got was the assassin's creed 3 um join or die edition on the Wii U. So I paid £70 for this. Um, uh, so he messaged me 
later that night and uh, didn't realise it was me. Um, and then she realised and uh, she said I could, she could have sold it to me privately for uh, about 65 quid instead or 60 quid. But, you know. Um, so, what you get in this is um, collector box, Connor's medallion, and uh, George Wilson Turner's notebook. And you also get a little pouch for the medallion. So, inside, um, it's a nice box. Um, it's just a, a normal box that opens up like that. So, inside, get the pouch. And uh, very um, weighty, as you can hear, weighty um, medallion with the join or die and uh, Assassin's Creed insignia and the eagle uh, with the three stars. So, quite a nice pouch as well, it's quite well made. Um, might keep that as a um, coin pouch for when I go out. And um, the notebook, so it's not too bad you have a, does that come out? Oh, I don't know. Is it? Huh. Okay, so that doesn't actually come out, but no. Oh well. Anyway, it's quite nice. And um, quite a lot of illustrations. And there's another one that's sort of open. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. Yeah. A shame that's um, bent over, but that's all right. Um, quite a few pages like that, and uh, George Washington, um, <coughs> Benjamin Franklin, and uh, who would that be? I don't know. Um, I haven't really played Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 3, especially on the Wii U, because I haven't got many games on the Wii U, and the case. All in really good condition and uh, good condition disc. So there you go. Um, everything is still all up in the air, still swapping things out. Um, the uh, whole house we were on was quite expensive, so most of my uh, back pay went on that. And uh, we have to do the carpeting as well now um, because electricians aren't that good at keeping things clean or don't give a shit about oh now I've said it don't give a shit about stuff so um, there you go um, so we've got a lot of rectifying to do and a lot of problems on the way um, so I finally got a working controller um, all in all uh, two working controllers for less than one working controller which isn't too bad um, in the end. I spent quite a bit of money to get it working and um, very expensive cable. And I think it was, this tool was about seven pounds, 10 pounds, something like that. Um, could only get it on eBay. So, and um, the uh, controller uh, stick set. So um, I'd say about 100 pounds spent getting two controllers working and um, I'm definitely very pleased with uh, the outcome of it so uh, nice and weighty um, a little bit more weighty than the uh, picture gambit but a little, li uh, little lighter than the uh, um, oh, I can't remember what other controller I've got it's quite heavy because it's got weights in the um, grips but Feels good, good uh, ergonomics. So yeah, a Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U. Two controllers, one working controllers I can use for parts anyway. And um, that's it. So there is another video coming, um, not gaming related. So I just got a really good deal on the Amazon uh, Prime Day deals. So. Um, Watch out for that, and I will be going to the Cardiff Gaming Market this this month. I believe on the twentieth or the twenty second. It's on a Sunday, so 
thank you for coming and uh, hopefully you all have a good day one pound gamer out